Okay, so in this problem, we're dealing with a free fall. And it gives us the height and a cameraman. And let's just look at part A for now. So it's asking us for the position of a function that yields the height of an object at time t, assuming that it's released at time 0. Um, so there's a generic equation for that that just says h of t equals minus 16 t squared plus our initial velocity times t plus h, which is our initial height. And in our case, can't do anything with t since that's just time. Uh, but with v, sorry, that looked like a 2, uh, we know that we're throwing it. Uh, we're not throwing it at all, actually. It's just being dropped. So that means that our initial velocity is 0. And our initial height is 144 feet, which it gives us. So we can just uh, simplify this a little bit. 144 minus 16 t squared is our equation. So part B, at what time will the object reach the ground? Well, you could think about you have an object. It's falling. Um, it's starting at 144 feet. Where's the ground? Well, it's at 0 feet. And since our equation gives us height, we could say, well, we want to find the time when our height is 0. So let's just say 0 equals 144 minus 16 t. And then you can solve for t. And in this case, once you get t equals radical something, um, instead of saying plus or minus, you can just assume it's the positive answer because you're not going to have a negative time. Now let's look at part c. Find the rates of change of the angle of elevation of the camera when t is 1 and t is 2. And then it gives us a little hint here, uh, theta prime of 1 and 2 radians per second, which is great because you should always include the unit. Um, so in our second example here, make sure you're saying seconds. So let's jump right into part C because this is definitely the hardest part of the problem. I'll go on to the next page here. Let's model our object falling. And here's our ground. And we're given that a cameraman, here's our little camera, is 500 feet away. So this is 500 feet. And it starts filming at the top, and it follows it all the way down. So we know that this is a right angle. We know that this angle here we're going to call theta. So since we're given a height, which we calculated, and we're given a, le a leg here, which is 500, uh, we know from SOHCAHTOA that the tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, or h of t over 500. And that's going to be in radians. So since it gave us that hint so nicely earlier that we want to find theta prime, we should find the derivative of theta, which would be d dt of the arctan, or the tan inverse, um, of h of t over 500. And we know a property of arctan, which says that the derivative of arctan is just 1 over 1 plus x squared. So get that out of the way. When we take the derivative of this, we're going to have to use the chain rule, of course, because we have a function within here. <clears throat> but we're going to have 1 over 1 plus, in this case, x squared is our whole term here. So we'll just say h of t over 500 squared. And then 
d dt of h of t over 500. And that is our chain rule. So we're going to keep this term the same. I'm not going to write it out um, just to save us a little bit of time. d dt of h of t over 500. Well, we know h of t is 144 minus 16 t squared. So h of, uh, d dt of h of t over 500 is just going to be minus 32 t over 500. And this is going to be the same here. Um, so now we can express this as 1 plus, we can write out h of t, 144 minus 16 t squared all over 500 squared times negative 32 t over 500. And now it's asking us to solve theta prime of 1 and theta prime of 2. And those are both going to be in radians per second. So to do that, you just plug in 1 into this here, this equation, because this is theta prime in terms of t. And that will give you the radians per second that our camera angle is moving down. Because as the object falls, the camera also moves down. OK? So I hope that helps. If you need any other assistance, just leave a comment, and I'll answer your questions as soon as possible.